Drone 10 can give us the best view of an urban landscape that is about to undergo a big transformation. It will soon be the home of the next Franklin County Metro Park, and it is still in the concept phase, but as Jeff Hogan tells us, there's already a rock-solid foundation. That view can't get any better. Any guesses on this location? Turn to your left up here. And where do you think this is? How about here? This map will help you. Bordered by the Scioto River on the east, Trebu Road to the south, and Dublin Road to the west, it's a proposed 20th Metro Park on a quarry site near Marble Cliff. One of our goals and what our people have said is they want Metro Parks close to home. Metro Parks has partnered with Wagenbrenner Development to turn a hollowed out moonscape into a lush greenscape. This here, Mother Nature's been taken care of for about 50 years, and she's starting to reclaim areas that we can then bring the public in and show them in a great, safe environment. These sheer limestone walls are the centerpiece of this quarry property, but also the bedrock of surrounding communities. And what this 20th park will do for accessibility and recreation is hard to imagine, because now everybody's a stone's throw away here Nobody in Franklin County will be more than five miles away from a metro park. It gives us a great pedestrian connectivity to Upper Arlington, Grandview, and Marble Cliff. So connecting neighborhoods. Right to a metro park without having to get in your car. A train trestle over the Scioto lends history to the site. So this is how the rocks came and went out of the quarry. This is how the workers came from downtown Columbus in the mornings to work in the quarry and then head back to their homes at night. Sometime in the near future, it may again be how people get home from a day at the park. Jeff Hogan, commit to be fit. That'll be a sight to see. Mm -hmm. Part of the project includes building a neighborhood with commercial and residential space inside the park. That's a first for Central Ohio. Metro Parks hopes to buy some of that land this year, but it'll likely not be available to the public for a few years.